Hi, so today we're going to be talking about entity alignment. In other words, aligning two parts by entities. Now, why would you want to use this? If you've got, for instance, two halves of a shell and you want to align them in space, you're going to need this because you can certainly do an alignment by common mesh or common targets, but that's only if you have surface in common between the two parts. So if you don't have surface in common, they're two separate parts, but they do go together, then entity alignment is the way to go. So here we have our part that I've started to create entities on. And in fact, I have another part here, which is a mirror image. I mirrored it using the mirror function up the top here. So I have my mirror image part, which I'm going to treat as that I want to put them together to make some sort of shell. Now, I've made most of the entities I need, but I'll just do the last one so that you can see how you do that. So we're going to align this using the planes and two cylinders on that are common to both parts. So I'm just going to create a part on this one, and I'm going to create a cylinder in this hole here, and I'm going to constrain its orientation to be perpendicular to the plane underneath it. That's just so that it's parallel to this axis here. So I'm ready to go. I hold down my control key. I'm, it's automatically chosen similar curvature as the selection. I choose and I'm going to say that I want it to be 200 millimeters long and I'm going to create that. Create. So now I've got all the entities I need. So now we've got sufficient entities on both parts. We choose the part that we want to be mobile. In other words, to be aligned to the other part. And then we choose the alignment to an entity and we tell it what the fixed part is, which is the first one. And then we start to use the subsets of the entities. In this case, I'm going to first do the large cylinder axis with its brethren large cylinder axis, small cylinder axis with its brother's small cylinder axis and this as you can see at this point I'm going to flip the axis on one of these cylinders and that will turn the part over to be the way I want it to be. I'm then going to continue the alignment by specifying not the subset but the actual plane that they both need to share and there you have it it's a perfectly aligned set of parts which you can actually see that we've got a quite nicely aligned and fitted part.